All right. <clears throat> Boys and girls, today we are going to be ranking the Pokemon generations from good to garbage. We have seven tiers, S plus through F, where we're going to figure out which generation and which Pokemon game belongs in which tier. I've got my chat with me to help me figure it out. We're going to kind of talk it through, maybe do some group decisions on some of the games that we all kind of like together, as well as kind of just, you know, have some fun, you know? I love all the Pokemon generations equally. I don't think any of them are terrible, but we are going to have to put a couple of them down at the bottom. So, <sighs> let's get into it. As we see, we have uh, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus. Three games that have not uh, come out yet. So, it makes it kind of hard to put them on any, any you know, uh, any tier list because, you know, we, we haven't played them yet. So, I'm going to have to put them, all three of these, uh, in not available. Mostly just because we can't play them. Yeah, I got I got a not available them. There's just like, there's literally no way for me to put them in any other category. Mostly because I, I haven't played them yet. So, I don't know. And now we're going to go generationally. So we're going to go Gen 1 to Gen 8. That's, that's how I'm going to do it. I think it'll be the most cohesive and the easiest way to run through this. So here's how we're going to go this. We're going to start with Pokemon Green. It is the only actual Japanese game that we are going to be ranking in this tier list. And to be fair, <laughs> I don't necessarily... Uh, no, because I've never played it because I don't speak Japanese. So have, have have any of you guys actually played Pokemon Green? Like literally anybody? I, I want to buy a box and I want to put it back in the in the corner back here with all my like, Pokemon stuff because I think it looks dope. And I, I think it's a cool piece of like Pokemon history. Um, but I can say that I have never actually played um, Pokemon Green. Never played it. You know, Cromer, since you are the oldest one in chat, most likely, um, I'm going to say probably no one else has played it either. Yes, that was meant to be a burn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to put green also in N.A. I, I have to I have to put green in N.A. because, I mean, to be honest, I haven't played it. Not many other people have played it. It's a Japanese game, so this is where it's going to live. I, I can't necessarily think of another place to put it. I can't even find any actual Pokemon cards to to purchase. So the fact that you guys are even finding Pokemon cards blows my mind. All right. Now we move on to red and blue. I'm going to be honest. Again, I have not ever beaten red or blue. Um, I'm currently doing the red soul link, uh, the red and blue soul link with Windu. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm, I currently have a blue Nuzlocke going on on YouTube that I haven't finished either of those right now. Uh, so I've never finished Gen 1, but I've played enough of the games I can probably rank them at this point. And I'm going to be honest, they're, they're not going to be very, very high. <laughs> I'm a Gen 3 kid. We've already been through this, Cromer. Like, I've already said this multiple times. I'm a Gen 3 kid. I came in with Gen 3. My introduction to Gen 1 was Fire Red and Leaf Green. So you can't be mad at me for being young. I mean, come on. Let, let's be real here for a second. Like, you can't be mad at me for being young. But I will give... I, I do have to put red and blue in the B tier. Where's red? Why is it so far away? I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking B tier for, re, for, for red and, uh, and blue. Because... Gen 1, Gen 1 did age pretty bad, Galaxy. Um, and it's not... They're not the best games in the series. But they did start. C. You guys think C? You think C? All right. Okay. 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 Here's what we'll do. We're gonna move red and we're gonna move blue down to C. I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move Charizard. Charizard. Red has to be lower than 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 blue because I I like Blastoise just a little bit more. Um, just it's just a me thing. I can't, I would I would put them lower. I personally would put them in like D or F. But they're they started everything. They're the reason we have Pokemon today. I I have to put them. In at least C. At least C. Now, yellow, yellow though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw yellow in B. Because I like yellow because you can get all the starter Pokemon and Charizard can actually learn fly. You know, use his wings the way that he's meant to. I have to put yellow just 
priced a bit higher because I think it, it has everything that's good about blue and red, um, but even better because, you know, it has it's basically an upgraded version it's it's the third version and it's a lot of fun i enjoy yellow a lot um i really hope that they put it on the switch eventually like they did with the 3ds but you know who am i kidding they, we probably will never get them generation two gold silver and crystal now boys girls anyone watching anyone who's here before you say anything this game crystal Right up into at you know what you know wait 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 here here right did I spell tier right crystal crystal goes the whole way up into god tier crystal is fantastic crystal crystal is such a good game crystal is fantastic I love crystal I love it I love the animations the fact that they added um Chris the first girl character she has such a great design I love the starter Pokemon I love the region everything the fact you can go back to Kanto everything here's where here's where i might lose some of you guys because i i know that you're probably going to be pretty mad about it um i'm gonna put silver in b and i'm gonna put gold in a all right now i'm a ho -Oh guy i love ho -Oh. i really 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 like ho -Oh. i like lugia too but i think ho -Oh, for me deserves to be a little bit higher and I think gold has better exclusive Pokemon. Crystal itself, it's a very nostalgic game for me. It's one of the first games I ever ended up playing. Um, and I just really like Gen 2 because of that game specifically. I bought it on my 3DS. Um, I have a physical copy of it right back there. It's the one I had when I was a kid. You know, everything, everything. It's one of my favorite games ever. And it will 100% it will be living in God tier for the rest of my days. So like for me personally... Um, I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take, I gotta take Emerald and just slap it right up in God tier. If you guys know anything about me, which to be fair, no more than I think about it, you probably don't. Um, Emerald is probably my favorite Pokemon game. Um, from the Battlefront tier, the gyms, the Pokemon, the redesigns from, um, Ruby and Sapphire. It's like, I, I, I can't, I can't get over it. Sapphire was my first Pokemon game ever. Sapphire and Ruby are both going in S. Both going in S. Emerald's a god tier game. Ruby and Sapphire are S tier games. That's how I feel about it. If you disagree with me, you can fight me in the comment section on YouTube. <laughs> Needs more water. All right, but like, but look at the game. The game. All right, let's. I'm gonna explain something. The Hoenn region is about duality. All right, there is there is the um, idea that there is half water and half ground, and the two. Uh, teams the two rival teams the team aqua and teak magma are fighting for control the whole the whole region is about duality there are there are literally the same amount of water routes as as um grass routes for this that specific reason that's why there feels like there's so much water so like there's a reason why they do everything let's have kids okay but the braille thing was cool though Pokemon is lacking. Po Pokemon, Pokemon treats people like they're idiots. But we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that today. We're not we're not gonna get into that today. We probably actually will once we get you know closer to Generation Eight, obviously. But then we get to the first set of remakes. We have Fire Red and Leaf Green. Now, Fire Red and Leaf Green are fire games fire I, they're like fire and leaf green they spawn some of the best rom hacks they have some of the best um i i love i love the kanto region and and how like it's it's basically you can do whatever you want after you get past a certain part you can go anywhere and and beat like four gyms you, there's nothing you have to do specifically no nope, that that's that's kind of my favorite thing about about gen one um i'm gonna throw fire red and leaf green in a tier i don't think they're s tier games i don't um, I, I think that it, it still suffers from a lot of the, the Kanto problems. Um, but no, you know what? I lied. I definitely, I definitely lied. I think, I think Fire and Leaf Green deserve S tier. I think, I think they deserve S tier. I think they deserve to live in the same place as Ruby and Sapphire. Um, I definitely don't think that they're God tier games at all. I don't think they deserve that, deserve that amount of hype, but I do really like them so they're, they're gonna live in s tier they they have the same you know like thing to me as um as ruby and sapphire do and, and i enjoy playing them a lot all right okay now we move on to gen 4 
and I'm, I'm I'm gonna do this first before before I before I make a crappy move. We're gonna move platinum up in the god tier with emerald and crystal. You know, it's a Gen three game, a Gen three game. It's it's like the third game in the series. You know, it's the one that perfected everything. It's the one that makes sense to be in god tier. You know, <laughs> but <laughs> diamond and pearl, <laughs> diamond and pearl are gonna go into D tier. Okay, all right. I don't like diamond and pearl that much. They are slow. They are annoying and they have like absolutely no Pokemon in them. Platinum, Platinum literally fixed every issue, every issue that Diamond and Pearl has. But the originals, <laughs> the originals are not that much fun. I'm going to be honest. After you play Platinum, Diamond and Pearl are so boring, like garbage, garbage. Without Platinum, Gen 4 would be so boring because it's so slow. The XP is slow, the health bar is slow, the movement is slow, the everything. Everything is slow. I, I wouldn't even put Diamond and Pearl in ARS. I, I think Platinum is so good comparatively to Diamond and Pearl that there's like no reason why Diamond and Pearl even need to exist. And that's why I'm so excited for the remakes. The reason that I'm so excited for the remakes is because I think that it could take the place of the original Diamond and Pearl and then they could be up in A or S tier if they fix the problems that that um, the originals had. So like you make the decks a little bit bigger, you give us like faster swims, all the stuff. These games right here will be right up there with Platinum, I promise. I love Gen 4. They're not they're not F tier games. You know, we're, we're, we're changing one more, we're changing one more. Rash. Okay, we're not we're, they're not trash games, but they're not good either. So they're going like low of the good games. All right, low of the good games. Heart Gold and Soul Silver right up in the god tier 100 percent. there is no way heart gold and soul silver deserve to go anywhere else they are god tier games they, they're 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 wonderful they are some of my favorite games in the series they perfected m most if not all of the issues that gen 4 had in terms of speed and i gotta be honest i'm, I'm just really happy with it i'm like really happy with the gen 2 remakes they took everything I liked about Crystal and they perfected it to the T. I'm just pumped and I I, I love the game so much. Uh, Gen Gen 2 is such a fan favorite region for me. It's 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 what it, it, it just is. It is. I love Johto. And the fact that they're finally giving us some Gen 2 love by giving Legends um a Gen 2 starter is awesome. So I'm really pumped about that and they deserve to be in God tier. Fight me on it. Fight, I dare you to fight me. Fight me. I, I please. <laughs> And I feel like Gen 5, it, it people people don't like Gen 5. They, they people either love Gen 5 or they hate Gen 5. And I, I don't know why. I don't I don't get why. I think Gen 5 has probably hands down my favorite story of the whole re, of the whole game series. And I love that Gen it, it parallels Kanto and Johto. So I don't know if a lot of you guys realize this, but Black and White and Black and White 2 mirrors um Kanto and Johto. So, so the way that red and blue and gold and silver are, how they're technical sequels of each other, that is the same exact thing that black and white is to black and white too, which I think is really cool. And I think a lot of people miss that because they, they hit it so well in the game. Um, because black and white are so unlike red and blue, but at the same time, they have like the same tropes. And it's, it's really interesting to go back and think about it in that way because the Johto games, the Gen 2 games, are sequels to the Gen 1 games. The way that Black and White 2 is a sequel to Black and White 1. And, let, and, and allowing you to look at the Black and White games as a soft reset of the series, that's why Black and White only has Black and White Pokemon in it. Those kids, they were trying to mirror the first generation without making them carbon copies like they do with later generations. So that's my two cents about black and white. I love black and white. Black and white, the originals, are going to go in S tier. Great games. Some of my all-time favorite Pokemon games. I love black and white. I've spent hours in black and white. We're literally going to play Pokemon Black after this. We are literally going to go directly into Pokemon uh, Pokemon Black, and we're going to continue the Wizard Lock when this tier list is over. So, I mean, as you know, I like, I like Pokemon Black. <laughs> Now, Black and White 2, on the other hand, are, are God tier games. Black and White 2 take everything that Black and White did, and they perfected it to a T. 
they made it perfect the game the poke the game the pokemon to everything the the protagonist to your rival they they made everything that was kind of meh about black and white and they made it perfect in black and white too and i could not be like i could not be happier with the way that they made black and white too i could not be happier now <laughs> you guys might be mad at me um but from this point on it's gonna be pretty bad <laughs> Pokemon in and of itself after generation 5 has gotten so easy I think X and Y had so much potential I think X and Y had so much potential and it flopped so hard the first time I played it I like I really liked the game and I've replayed X and Y a handful of times and I gotta be honest every single time I play the game I like it less I like it less and I like it less. Gen 6 is great. I love Megas. I think Megas are awesome. I think that the whole gimmick system though after Megas sucks. I hate I hate that they added a gimmick. I don't know how much I like the fact that Game Freak went, oh, we added a gimmick into one generation. Let's change it in every generation after, even though everybody really liked Megas. So Megas are cool, but they do not save X and Y. I'm going to be honest, X and Y are like hella C tier games to me. I do not have that much fun with them. I don't. Um, I I gotta be honest. They just they just didn't hit for me. I'm actually gonna just go hold out and, and move uh, silver up to A tier with with gold. I think it's unfair to keep them in different tiers. It's just you know I I, th I think we just gotta keep them together. I think it's just how we're gonna do things. See, I mean like I don't think that X and Y are terrible, and it was the first game. In 3d so I can't be that mad but still I don't really like it Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for me personally are not as good as Ruby and Sapphire um, but the mega evolutions um, and the nostalgia of playing a region that already has a well thought out story but was added upon said story puts Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for myself in a tier um i love gen 3 a little bit more than than other people i i, I like gen 3 so much that i i don't think that it's an s tier game i don't think that the remakes deserve to be on the same playing field as the originals um that's a personal thing but i don't think that they deserve to be low so i am going to put um the them into a tier i i just i have to i hate generation 7 and I'm not a big fan of Generation 8. I said it. I said it. I finally, I said it out loud. Whew. All right. <laughs> now we're going to move on and we're going to we're gonna put them in tears. Oh no. Sun and Moon are in the trash pile. Why are they in the trash pile? Because they released Sun and Moon and then they went, oh, we're going to put Ultra Sun and Moon. And so they're not, they're D tier games. I don't like Sun and Moon that much. I don't like Sun and Moon at all, actually. I don't... I, I, I My favorite thing about them is the uh, regional forms. I did! I did! I commented on your TikTok about this because the way that they made Sun and Moon and then Ultra Sun and Moon a year later was scummy. They literally went, oh, you know, we have like all these cool things that we were going to add, but instead, why don't we just release the games and then we'll make new ones and you're going to spend $40 for almost the exact same game, but the Ultra versions have more story and more things to do. Why wouldn't you just release the Ultra games first? The Sun and Moon would... I mean, Sun and Moon, I, I actually don't hate the games, but I don't like the business tactics, one, and and I don't like that they got rid of gyms. Um, I think the region's awesome. If we can revisit the region eventually and maybe do something like a Legends Arceus game in Alola, cool, that'd be awesome, that's dope. But no, I don't I don't like Sun and Moon. I'm not a fan of Gen 7. I don't like the tutorial. I don't like how handholdy it is. Um, the saving grace is the Pokemon and how beautiful the region is. It's not that memorable to me. I don't remember the game that much at all. We're not gonna get into it anymore. It is my least favorite game in the series by far and deserves really deserves to be in the trash category if you ask me. I don't like the catching mechanic. But I had a lot of fun playing the Let's Go games. 
I, I, I think that the Let's Go games, I'm going to put them into C tier. Um, and that's solely because of the catching mechanic. If the Let's Go series had the same catching mechanics as a regular game, they'd be up here with B with regular yellow. But they don't. They have a catching mechanic that gets annoying. The leveling up system that you have to do to continue to play the game is annoying. I think the shiny hunting's fun, and I like I, I like the idea of something like that. But what I don't like is that you can't grind on wild Pokemon without buying a thousand Pokeballs. And that's the only thing I don't like. I don't like that you're reliant so much on catching Pokemon to gain experience. I've already said my piece with Generation 1. Kanto has like eight spots on this list i like the dude the rideable pokemon though were pretty dope too not gonna lie the rideable pokemon were pretty sick other than that though i, I mean i would like to see a let's go johto mostly because i don't think we're going to be able to go back to johto without getting a let's go game of it so i'll take what i can get but um yeah the 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 kanto remake remakes are going to be stuck in c tier for all of eternity <laughs> and that leads generation eight boys i'm so indecisive about this generation because I love the amount of Pokemon that are in the game, but not all the Pokemon are in the game. I love that you can catch 400 Pokemon in the game, but you could. But when the game came out, there were only 400 Pokemon in the game. I'm not a national Dexer. I'm not a person who's going to complain that much about it. I, I just think that's annoying that by this point, they could have all of the Pokemon in the game. I also think that the story is meh. I think the story sucks. I think it's terrible. I think the story is garbage. I think it's the worst story in history of Pokemon. I think it's literally so boring. Half the time, whenever anything cool happens, Leon runs up to you and goes, Hey, go challenge the next gym. I'll worry about everything. And the games themselves are, unless you put like a, a super crazy, um, like amount of difficulty stuff on yourself, <laughs> you're not really gonna have a hard time so but here I, I have to explain a little story before i before i put them where i'm gonna put them and before you guys probably yell at me about it so i played this game at launch with one of my best friends um i i, I came home for the weekend i was in college at the time i came home for the weekend um and uh, i picked up the game i went to his house i picked him up he went over, he came over to my house for the whole weekend and we just played these games together um, it was the same thing that we used to do with like Gen 3 back in the day. Um, we decided we were going to do this because the games, um, we were really excited. And, you know, as time has gone on, I've become a lot more jaded to Sword and Shield. And I don't like them as much. Um, but there's two manufacturers why I'm going to put them where I'm going to put them. Um, I have a crazy amount of nostalgia for playing games with my friends. And the fact that I played these games on the day of the launch with one of my friends complete beginning to end um, is crazy. These games were my first completed playthrough of, on YouTube. I have a whole playthrough of Pokemon Shield. And it was the first time that I had ha have found a static shiny in the wild since playing Pokemon Sapphire way back when I was a kid. And the third one is the DLC. The main game sucked. But the DLC was so much fun. The DLC was crazy cool. So I got to be honest. Um, I'm going to put these higher than most people. I'm slapping these in B tier. Um, because of all those reasons. It's nothing nothing crazy. Um, I, I truly, if I didn't have the connection to the games, I'd probably put them in, in C tier or maybe even D tier. Because I don't think they're very good games. I think they're garbage. But in terms of just my fun and the things that I remember about the games and all the everything I got to do with them, I just I gotta put them in B tier. I, I would literally I would literally if I separated the main game, I would put the main games in trash with Sun and Moon, and I would put the DLC in A or B. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But yeah, that that's just kind of how I feel about the whole generation. It's it's very nostalgic to me. Um, or, and it will always be that way for, for lots of reasons. Um, but overall, I think the games are, uh, are, are really, really bad. And I will probably like never have fun playing them. <laughs> well, all right. As we can tell on the screen right now, this is, um, this is my, uh, tier list. This is where I put all of the Pokemon games and all of the generations. Um, I know that 
you guys probably have a, a different list than me. Um, and that's fine. You're allowed to have different opinions than me. But know this. Okay, know this. My opinion is fact and your opinion is wrong. Remember, I said that I said that out loud. I just said that. My opinion is factual and your opinion is your opinion. Cromer, I'm not wrong. We agreed on lots of these. The only one you yelled at me about was let's go. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. You know it. 